Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Tamlore Akinkole, and these are the headlines we're following at the moment. The Senate has resolved that the leadership of the National Assembly will move to President Bola to know over the security challenges in the country. This follows a motion of urgent importance raised by Senator Imalwe Udende on the killing of over 50 people in a fresh attack in no less than five Benue state communities by terrorists disguised as head men. Based on the motion, the Senate also resolved to send a delegation to condole with the government and people of Benway State. The House of Representatives on Wednesday, March 6, has advocated the payment of living wages to Nigerian workers at a rate of that would be that would commensurate with current economic realities across the world. The House directed its relevant committees of labor and employment, finance and national planning to work out modalities for the payment of living wages to Nigerian workers at rates that match economic realities. In the resolution following a motion sponsored by the minority leader of the House, Kingsley China, and 37 other members, the House resolved to transmit its resolution to the Senate for concurrence. Selling the House of Representatives, the House is taking a decisive action by summoning key government officials over allegations of fraudulent concession of port infrastructure. Ministers of the Blue Economic Way, Gawaiyatola, and its Transportation Counterpart Sadiu Alkali among those called to explain their roles in the process. The summons was issued by Ibrahim Amisu, Chairman of the House Committee on Privatization and Commercialization, during a meeting with Seaport Terminal Operators in Abuja. Amisu expressed dismay at the absence of top government officials and raised concerns about the alleged shading manners in which the concession process was managed. The Nigerian exchange has emerged as the number one exchange in Africa in the first two months of 2024 as investors gained 30 3.70% returns on investors. A statement from the NGX on Tuesday revealed that the local boss was rated as the best performing in Africa, ahead of Johannesburg Stock Exchange, Egyptian Exchange Index, and the Ghana Stock Exchange. Earlier in January, NGX emerged as the world best performing stock market in the first three weeks of 2024, beating Argentina, which came second. Now on the foreign scene, former President Donald Trump declared an amazing night as unclinched easy victories in the Super Tuesday primaries inching closer to securing the Republican presidential nomination. The results set the stage for a highly anticipated rematch with President Joe Biden in November. In a sweeping triumph, Trump secured wins in major cities like Texas and California over primary challenger Nikki Ailey. Still on the foreign scene, Ghana celebrated 67 years since gaining independence from its former colonial rulers, the British, today, March 6, 2024, the Ghana News Agency says. After 83 years of British colonial rule, Ghana gained independence, becoming the first sub-Saharan African country to achieve freedom from Britain. In 2017, President Nana Adufo, um, Ado decided to return to the national independence celebration to showcase different regions and stimulate the local economy and this year's celebration will be celebrated at the youth resource center in the eastern part of the country and finally on sports jubilee has been suspended for real madrid next to la liga matches after it was sent off against valencia last weekend the spanish football federation has said Madrid appealed against his red card, but the Federation's disciplinary committee dismissed their complaint that the referee made an error by dismissing Bellingham. The middle fielder misses upcoming La Liga games against Cleta Vigo and Osasuna. And that's all we have on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. See you again next time.